Welcome back to another video. Sorry, I've not made a video in a very long time, specifically a Hogwarts update. So this is Hogwarts update number 19. Um, I've been working on tons and tons of changes, as you can see if you follow my videos on Hogwarts, and that and there is now a lot, a lot of new things, like especially interior changes, and um, of the actual castle changes. So back to where we started off. You can see I've made the bridge um, come out this way more, and um, this thing here, I took off a top layer, and I added some rock there, which we'll see what's behind that soon. And then there's this this big tower is moved there, with that little thing down there. The bridge is now much longer, all of this stuff's filled in, so it's not just the table. And that's the doorway that is there. There's also the steps that I'm standing on right there. Another big thing you probably noticed is I made a new entrance courtyard. I really liked this one much better. For one, it was more accurate. It was a little bit smaller. It's more sturdy, and the viaduct bridge comes in at it at an angle like it actually is supposed to. There is also Cedric and Harry in there where, where Harry's telling them about the dragons. And then another thing about it over here is there's this small little tower. It kind of is out a little more where the boats come out. I just made a miniature version of that and stuck it there. I've also rotated the Great Hall sideways. Instead of it being flat like this, I've rotated it. So it's way more accurate to the movies and books. Also, I felt like the water needed something. Um, I just added some giant squid tentacles because there's a giant squid that lives in the lake. And I just thought it looked cool. If we come around to the back, there's tons more changes. Um, I am currently filming a stop motion, um, which will hopefully be releasing this month, if not next month. So this is my new, my new um, room of requirement. And I'm very happy of how this turned out because I made the fireplace, I made this whole new wall where I matched the kind of blue panels there and integrated the fireplace that comes in the set along with this, like, billboard. And then over here we have the main set. I built some steps to go up to it. And the door actually opens into the astronomy tower area, so I had to modify the whole astronomy tower set to be able to do that. But I think it looks um, really nice there. If we come over here, I've put this staircase in. So we can come up to the new trophy room, which I've added a whole new tower, or a new, whole new level, the astronomy tower. So there's just three trophies in there. I might add some more stuff in the future. I just have Harry walking up there. And if you look at this wall, this is where all of um, Umbridge's pro- co bleh, Cannot speak. All of Umbridge's pro- All of her proclamations are. Sorry about that. I know loss for words, but then I just have this wall here. It's kind of loose for now, but I want to try and make that more sturdier in the future. There is a way over here into what's kind of hard to see the defense against dark arts classroom, which is back there. There is a the library up here, which I think has slightly changed. Which this area used to be um this used to be um this used to be. Professor Slughorn's office, but I took that out. There's still the stickered piece of his little time thing, but you have Hermione in there getting a book. And nothing's really changed up here. But that's this little corner. Coming over here behind the rock, I have made a dungeons area where we have the potions classroom and the also the Slytherin dormitories. Um, these can be removed, but it's a big pain, so we might do that in a future update. But you can see that there is a bunch of shelves that have potions on them and different ingredients to make the potions along with Harry and Ron Snipe. And I didn't have anywhere else to put this. We just have the potions book. So that's just sitting there. Then over here, um, this is the Slytherin dormitory. So we have... Draco Malfoy right there holding a letter, probably going up to send it. Then if we remove him, you can see there's tons of stones on the ground, just to make give it more of a dungeony feel. 
We got two beds and a dresser drawer. And then there's just the Slytherin plaque up there along with two brooms, black and dark green, with I, which I thought added a nice little touch, along with a random rat. Moving over here, we have the Charms classroom um, where we have Ron and Hermione, and Hermione's making the little feather float. And then we got Harry and a Hufflepuff. This is the Professor Flitwick from the Hogwarts Moments Ravenclaw set, along with some books around him that he is standing on. To come up here, this is the normal Gryffindor tower area I have had, but down here, behind here, there's something new. With the Gryffindor tower removed, these come apart, and back here we have a Hufflepuff dormitory, where there's two beds, the Hufflepuff crest up there, and then we just have a nightstand there with some books and a little lamp. Then after all this is put back together, this just slides in there quite nicely. And it just pops out on two studs, which I might fix and I might not. Then we just have um, a giant scene in here. I'm probably not really going to go over to this in detail, but this is just the old balls. We got a tree. Carrying an owl, and then just a bunch of different minifigures, along with nearly headless Nick. If you look back here, where this bridge connects, you can see that it connects there where it used to, and it just goes up to Dumbledore's office. And there's also a little gap right there you can see. I might make that an entrance too, um, to the lower level, but we'll just have to see. And last, I have moved the dragon up here flying with Harry also flying all the way up there. But that's gonna finish it for this update. Hope you did enjoy. I'm gonna start making videos more often. Um, so make sure you do like if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe, we're almost to 90 subscribers and that's one step closer to 100.